review a couple of left-handed inside the waist holsters for the Glock series. Uh, this one right here is a Blade Tech inside the waist holster. Uh, it has the pull the dot snaps. You just pull on the top part and it unsnaps. Flexible to go around your belt. Has an attachment point for an inch and a quarter belt, an inch and a half, or an inch and three quarter belt, depending on what you're running. Just put the bottom part of the snap in, pop it up, and the snaps back together. They pivot a little bit so that you can get a little bit of adjustment to cant. Uh, if you wear it when you're sitting down and it digs in, you can kind of adjust it a little bit. Has two tension screws right here. You can tighten these up and it'll tighten the holster up on the pistol. Uh, makes it a little bit harder to pull out, retains it a little bit better. Uh, the bottom on this one is uh, got a smooth opening around the edge that allows a longer barreled Glock to stick out the bottom. Uh, the uh, mid-sized Glock, a 19, 23, 32, will come pretty flush with the edge of the holster. Uh, Glock 22, 17, 34, 35 are going to stick out the bottom a little bit. Uh, 26, 27, or Glock 23, the subcompacts, will fit in here. They'll just be about a half to three quarters of an inch shorter here. So it'll give you a little bit of gap, but you can still wear them in there if you need to. With a Glock uh, 27, just sticking it in the holster, it locks in place. The trigger guard right here is molded in, so it kind of puts tension on it and holds it right there. As you can see with this, with the training barrel in here, uh, it's about a half inch shorter than the edge of the holster right there. The inner panel here blocks the slide, keeps it from rubbing on your body, keeps the sights from digging into you, keeps sweat and moisture off of the pistol itself right there. Putting a Glock 23 in the same holster, uh, you'll see it's smooth on the trigger guard right here. The slide comes to about the end of the holster right there. Fits in pretty securely into the detent here. You can also run a Glock 35 in the same holster. Uh, the barrel sticks out uh, about an inch and a quarter or so out of there. Uh, not really that big a deal. Pants, shorts, whatever you're wearing, kind of cover the top. Uh, the sight channel's open, so when you give a, a draw, the sight still clears and comes out of the holster right there pretty smoothly. So I even carry a Glock 35 concealed in this, and it doesn't really print. Uh, it's really comfortable, nobody ever notices it's there. Uh, next up is another Blade Tech holster. This is their ultimate concealment holster that's tuckable. Uh, instead of belt loops or anything up here, they put this longer attachment here that pulls away from the holster so that when you mount this on your belt and the holster is inside your waist, you can tuck your shirt in there if you're wearing slacks and a dress shirt. Um, that way you still have a nice appearance. Uh, the holster doesn't print. Pretty much all you see is that little section of black right there sticking over your belt, which most people probably would never notice. This one has some additional holes here. Uh, the previous owner tried moving this attachment to a different location to make it work better for him, but uh, I guess it didn't work out that well. I ended up putting it back to the factory configuration here because it's what worked better for me. Uh, again with a Glock 27, inserting it into the holster. Uh, fits pretty securely. There's some tension screws back here that uh, are covered up by this plate that you can tighten up if you want to hold it in there a little bit tighter can put a, a Glock 23 in as well. Uh, holds it pretty firmly in place. Uh, this one actually the training barrel sticks out the end so it's not snapping into place right here in that one. Uh, this one is limited to the uh, mid-size Glock like a 19, 23, or a 32 uh, because of the end of the holster is closed so you're limited you can't run a longer barreled Glock in this one. last holster we're looking at here is a Raven Concealment Holster, uh, molded Kydex. Uh, these have uh, over the belt loops, pretty much comes out over the belt, a little J-hook goes under the belt, retains it, keeps it in position. Uh, these have a little bit of adjustment to them so that you can kind of rotate the holster wherever you need. Uh, 
if you want to. Uh, you'll notice this holster is a lot bigger than the other holsters, uh, pretty much because it's designed to fit a, a, a Glock with a weapons light on it. And it's a little bit wider, so it kind of breaks up the outline. You can also wear these outside the waist, so they keep it a nice slim appearance if you're not uh, tucking it inside your waist. But uh, even inside your waist, it gives a nice clean appearance. If you're wearing like a thin pair of slacks, it doesn't jut out around a big blocky holster. Yeah. Take a Glock 35 here, with the light on it, slide it down in the holster. It locks pretty firmly in place, uh, fits pretty low on the waist. You can see your belt kind of rides right in this area over here. Uh, these are adjustable. You can mount them lower if you want the, the weapon to sit up a lot higher. Uh, just personal preference depends on what you want to do with it. Uh, I've actually carried this setup right here with a Glock 35 with the light on it uh, pretty comfortably for uh, weeks at a time and had no issues. Uh, the holster doesn't wear on it. And, People never know that you've got a full-size Glock 35 target model with a light on it ready to go.